let's move on to TV and film. So, Evil Dead Rise. Did you check out those trailers? I did, and I am so excited. Woo, boy. Those trailers <laughs> are so good. So, I watched the Red Band trailer first. You know, this is another weird thing that I did not find out about until like a week before the trailer released. Which is weird, because it, apparently it's been rumored for like a while at this point. And then it was, of course, officially revealed that it was going to be a thing. But like, not too long ago, I saw like, the Evil Dead Rise is getting a trailer. And I was like, Evil Dead what? <laughs> they're, making oh. a, they're making a new Evil Dead? I love Evil Dead. Um, so uh, it's releasing April 21st. Um, and yeah, the Red Band trailer is real good. It's real bloody. It looks scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks real scary. And the thing is, a lot of people are looking at it and going, this does. This looks like either too scary or too bloody or too gory compared to the original, which was super. Which you know, a lot of people see it and go, "It was super campy, it was super like low budget," which it was because the first one was literally a fan, not a fan film, but a indie film. And then after right. that, and then with the second movie, they got more money. Um, but the reality that I feel like a lot of people aren't realizing is that this is essentially let's make that. The, the intention of that movie by Sam Raimi was to actually make it scary. It was to actually make it, like, gory and uncomfortable. And to the people of that time period, it probably was gory and uncomfortable. And us watching it now yeah. where, where like, those type of effects, both practical and in, you know, computer driven, have gotten so much better. It, it looks goofy. It looks corny now. But back then, it probably didn't. And if you take that same energy, that same energy of trying to create a super gory, super scary, super kind of like a, a bit psychological but through you know the torture of the, the physical body <laughs> um, right. approach and modern day with modern technology with modern effects this is what it will look like this is what it will feel yeah. like it will actually be scary because the effects are now at the point to where it can look real and can actually be genuinely scary to a modern audience like it probably was right. to that past audience Whereas I feel like, like this is what they were going for in the first place. But exactly. Now you you see the vision. That's exactly. That's you. You could. I couldn't put it better myself. That's what they were going for in the first place. They just didn't have the technology back then to do it to this level. And now that they right. and now that people realize that they're like, wait a minute, maybe this is too much. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's just enough. I love it. <laughs> and it's funny because the green. This is what you wanted. Yeah, the green band trailer. No blood. No nothing. But it's just as creepy, and it's just as good as the Red Band trailer. Mm -hmm. It's it's weird how good both those trailers is, and plus the the other trailer, um, both both trailers show different footage, so you get kind of like more footage if you watch both trailers. Right. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, I literally knew nothing about this until a few days ago, um, before the trailer came out. But the official synopsis for the film is, in the fifth Evil Dead film, a road weary Beth pays an overdue visit to her older sister Ellie who is raising three kids on her own in a cramped LA apartment. The sister's reunion is cut short by the discovery of a mysterious book deep in the bowels of Ellie's building, giving rise to flesh-possessing demons and thrusting Beth into a primal battle for survival as she is faced with the most nightmarish version of motherhood imaginable. Yeah, it looks scary. It looks terrifying. I'm excited. It comes out in April, like I said. I'm, I'm really excited. So the only two Evil Dead things I haven't seen, I haven't finished the, I haven't finished the show. I forget what the show is called. Uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead. And I, Evil Dead, yeah. And I don't really plan on it. Not that I didn't like it. I just don't feel like it. <laughs> Maybe I will someday. <laughs> but, um, That's real. Uh, I haven't seen Army of Darkness or the remake. Now, it's not a remake, apparently. It's actually just a continuation of Modern Day, but of, you know, the 2013 film. So I'm going to watch both of those. I literally rented Army of Darkness on YouTube. So, like, I paid the money. So I'm going to watch it eventually. Um, of course. But I got like a month before it runs out. <laughs> I'll probably watch it tonight though. Um, mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Anything to say before you and move on? And it's funny because I'm I, I I I love the Evil Dead, but uh, like blood and gore. It, it's funny because like I'm at this place of like I I am I'm not a fan of like super bloody, super gory stuff, but I love the Evil Dead. So it's like I don't know. It trying to I what am I trying to say? It's like. I'm ready. I'm so ready. I'm going to see it. I'm going to be crying the whole time because I'm going to be scared. <laughs> and you know what? That's okay. Because, like, this this movie looks great. I love The Evil Dead. I want to see it. But I'm, I'm going to be terrified. And honestly, it's it's about time that I, like, stop. 
being scared to watch scary stuff. I, I was one of those kids growing up where it's like, scary movie, if I watch a scary movie, I'll die. So, <laughs> it's time for me to get over that. I'm 20 now, you know, all that good stuff. I'm yeah. just excited. I like blood and gore, especially in video games, but for me, when it comes to TV, it depends. Oh, it's going to be film. It depends. Like, this is the type of stuff that's just over-exaggerated enough to where I like it. But um, mm-hmm. stuff like, even though it's still over-exaggerated in The Boys, The Boys just makes me uncomfortable because it's like watching Superman, like, brutally murder people. And that makes and me... like, why? That, that, makes me, <laughs> that makes me super uncomfortable. Like, I just, I cannot watch The Boys. Like, I've tried. I just can't. It's just too much for me. And like, like I yeah, said, like, gore doesn't usually bother me, but it's the circum, it's like the circumstance surrounding the gore and how it's they're like parodies of characters that I let not just grew up love, but still love. And I'm like, I don't need to see characters based off of those type of characters doing these horrible things. I just don't. I just I right. watch superhero content to get stuff that is hopeful and inspiring, as well as you know, out of this world. And like the only exception is like Invincible because Invincible is gory, but it's also like. It serves a purpose. It, it still is super exaggerated and still is full of hope. And it's right. part and it's cartoon, so that also makes it easier. Yeah, it's like when it's in real life, it's like, ugh, gives me the ick. But uh, And it's like I, I I'm also not a fan of like gore without a purpose. Like if it's just gory for the sake of being gory, then I'm like, ugh. But if it if it like serves a purpose in the narrative or if it's been like established in the narrative, if that makes sense, then it's fine. Yeah, so um, 